In this short tips and tricks video we're going to look at some cool and interesting ways that we can use a two rail sweep to create spun shapes. So we're going to look at how we can model each one of these three shapes that you can see here purely using the two rail sweep. So the first example we're going to look at is modelling a basic dome shape. Now in the two rail sweep you need two vectors that represent your rails and you need a vector that represents the cross section that you would like to sweep between those two rails to create your shape. Now creating this dome shape, so I'm going to start by drawing an outer rail which is just going to be a basic circle. So let's go in and draw a circle, give that a 5 inch diameter, press create and close. This is my outer rail. I'm going to take that, select it again to put it into transform mode, hold down control and shift, that allows me to create a copy yet keep it in proportion. And I'm just going to make a very, very small copy of that circle, it's going to sit in the centre there. So now I've got one rail and I have another rail here. All I need to do now is create a cross section. Now as we're creating a domed shape, I'm just simply going to draw in um, a cross section that represents that dome. So let's just begin with a circle, close that down, and I'm just going to draw in a line that runs through the centre there, and use my trim tool to take the bottom off. Okay, so there's our half a circle, but we are only working with uh, essentially a quarter of that, so I need to cut that in half again. So let's just go and snap that from the top to the middle there. Use my trim tool. There we have our quarter. And remember when we're creating cross sections, they need to be open vectors. So let's take that, go into node edit mode, and delete that bottom span there. So now we have a leg that's going to attach to one rail and a leg that's going to attach to the inner rail here and then that cross section is going to be spun around between those two vector rails using the two rail sweep. So let's go into the two rail sweep option. So let's, we'll, first we'll just tile the windows, go into the modeling tab and then we'll use the two rail sweep. So here we select our outer rail, shift and select the inner rail and then we say use selection, they're now drive rails, we can see that the outer rail is going in the anti-clockwise direction as is the inner rail here. So then all we need to do is select our cross section to sweep between those two rails, so it's going to start here and spin around in the anti-clockwise direction uh, to create our dome shape. So let's just take that cross section, go ahead and press apply. So there we have our dome shape. If we take a look at that, you can see that we actually have a hole in the centre of my dome shape. And that's due to the fact that the way we've created this, where we have an outer rail and we've got this very small inner rail, all we've done is to that cross section and swept that between those two rails and nothing's happening inside this closed vector rail here. However, we do have this option in the two rail sweep form to fill the centre of inner closed vector rails. So if we check that, what that will do, the software will fill uh, the inside of that vector rail with material so that we no longer have a hole and it just makes it more manageable for us to create these sorts of shapes. So you can see there we've got a real nice looking dome shape uh, created from two circle vectors, a cross section and then using this option to fill centre of inner closed vector rails. So let's close this down and take a look at two more examples. So let's go to the Layers tab, switch off the dome, switch on the bow layer. So here again I have an outer circle and if I hold down shift to select the inner circle, I've got my two rails, go into the modeling tab, use the two rail sweep option, say so use selection, select my bell cross section, press apply. Make sure fill centre is checked and we can see we've got that bell shape there. So you can see that shape being spun around the two rails to create this entire bell shaped uh, item that we've got here. So let's close that one down and then we'll go and have a look at a different example. Switch that component off into the layers tab, switch on the plate layer. You can see we've got two rails and I've got this cross section that's going to represent uh, my plate shape once that's spun around. So let's take that vector, shift and select the inner vector, go into the modeling tab, use a two rail sweep, say use selection, select my cross section, apply that, make sure fill centers checked and then you can see we've got this plate shape here, you can see that cross section it's been spun around the outer and inner rail to create that plate shape.
And so that completes this short tutorial on how to model sponge shapes using the two rail sweep. Thank you for watching.